That's crazy. It's the beam. Follow it. And you can totally see the distinction in the camera, too. I can only follow it up this far before it starts blending in, but... I can see it through the screen. Just a little bit. It's starting to get... It's starting to... It's like somebody took a giant knife, like some giant... Knife. Yeah. Well, that's a little darker blue there. That is so weird. Yeah, and it just slices through everything. Why is it blue? It's a rainbow. But it's only just lights and all that crap you can't see other It's it's like a blue rainbow. The um, the blue spectrum. Maybe there's pollution and we can't see. <laughs> Crazy. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Let me show you something else that this South Atlantic diamond can do, powered by the Ascension Island hydroacoustic system. You see this flare of light. This is a sonic flare. It's coming up directly from that. It's heating up the clouds in the sky. You see they're actually hot. It's causing heat in the sky and in the clouds coming down way over there. It's actually skipping off the ionosphere and coming back down. I've mentioned this in other films of mine and it is not exactly at Palatino. And as you see this is not as far inland as Palatino. This is an inlet from the ocean on the eastern shore of Brazil going inland in from the inlet right here let me show you where that is right here seems to be that inlet and they were standing up over here and as you notice the southern arm of the Ascension Island hydroacoustic system that diamond is right here just east where they said it was now let me let you see what that flare hitting the ionosphere and being projected down from that ionosphere looks like from the International Space Station here is ISS capturing images. Now you see this light that is coming up to the atmosphere and stopping at the atmosphere. It's because it's being bounced from below on the ground or in the sea. It's hitting the atmosphere and it's moving the clouds but even though it has uh, even though it excites the clouds and causes the clouds to part from its way it goes back down into the atmosphere it goes back down to the earth let's see what that looks like when it hits the Antarctic 
you see this area that sound energy is causing the um, metal particulates and the the ice and so forth to become incandescent that sound is actually separating those clouds just like it did when it hit the ionosphere that's what you're seeing the separation of those clouds now why are they doing that in the Antarctic for the same reason they're doing it to Greenland and the same reason they're doing it to the Arctic to melt the ice it's all whenever you wonder what in the world the PTB is doing the powers that be follow the money where is the money what they're doing is and there's documentation to this I will try to put this documentation in the comment in the description of this video the documentation is the drive to drill for oil in the Arctic in the Antarctic and in Greenland in the process they're going to do their very level best to tax each and every one of us as much as they possibly can for our green uh, for how green we live our lives for every breath we take we're going to be taxed for that under the guise of global warming for our carbon footprint and the whole reason that these uh, Antarctic and Arctic and ice shelves are melting is because their TTAs are heating them they're superheating them and causing them to melt in so doing we're being told that the sea tides are rising that's to be expected somewhat I don't think they're going to rise as much as the powers that be believe they're going to rise but when you have things like tsunami creating machines who needs higher rising tides you can just create the rising yourself Psalm 73 says you guide me with your counsel and afterward you will take me into glory whom have I in heaven but you and earth has nothing I desire besides you my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever those who are far from you will perish you destroy all who are unfaithful to you but as for me it is good to be near God I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge and I will tell of all your deeds I have some things to tell you my friends I've been receiving many many death threats uh, Satanists have come on my page and um, written incantations and commanded people who were watching my videos and, and reading my comments to profess Satan and to reject God and Jesus. I've had people telling me on my page that they will be so glad when we Christians are taken away to FEMA camps and beheaded with guillotines as God is my witness these things have been coming against me on my pages and in my messages I've been attacked from all sides but I'm here to tell you God is my refuge someday I will be with him I've learned many many terrible things and one day I may lose my life as a result of it but I will not stop sharing the truth as a watchman on the wall I have to blow the trumpet in Zion people have to know people have to hear and I will not stop until the Lord says to me come home my precious daughter This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, everyone.
and God bless you.